Hi, I'm Barry Foster. And I'm Gary Foster. And welcome back to Antipodean Journey. This is episode number two with the Blacktown Spartans. And today we've got our very first league game, um, away to St. George City at Jubilee Stadium. Yeah, making our our opening game in the in the Platinum League. So it's going to be interesting to see how the how the boys come together after a pretty interesting pre-season. We've had some pretty good results against um, higher opposition. I think um, Bankstown and, and Blacktown were both higher ranked sides. Um, South, uh, Sutherland was also a higher ranked yeah. side, I think, weren't they? Yeah, Sutherland Sharks were A-League 3. Blacktown City was actually A-League 2. Oh, that's right, and Bankstown are our league rivals. Yes, yes. yes. Um, the two games against St. Clair and West Pimble were against uh, local Premier League sides, so we were expected to win comfortably, which is what we did. And uh, the games against Manly and St. George, they're also our league rivals, so we had two creditable draws with them. So I think there'll be interesting times ahead for us. Yeah, it wasn't a bad pre-season. It wasn't um, anything greatly outstanding, but it wasn't a flop, no. <laughs> I, must, I must admit. And we got through it without any long-term injuries, which was good. We did, and uh, with transfers, a little bit of activity there. We've signed mm. uh, Stefan Todorowski. He's a 28-year-old defender, central defender, so I think he might be a good addition to the team. A Wandi Jajor, a 31-year-old yes. striker. Um, I think he's going to be pretty good with finishing at 15. Yeah, good numbers there. So we're, we'll be looking at him to provide a lot of the goals. And Jacob Bandor, another central defender, 27 years of age. I think he's going to be um, certainly beefing up our defence. And one person... On the other side of the ledger, Christian Nisimbam, he's gone to Darwin FC. Mm. We decided we really had no use for him. So that's uh, in a nutshell what's been happening um, since our last uh, episode. And of uh, of course, um, we're still looking for a uh, an assistant manager, yes. which we hope to um, do some business there in the in the coming few weeks in the game. But anyway, um, without further ado, let's go and play St George City. Yeah. And this is our starting 11 for today's game. We've got Brown in goal, Tanner, Pentor, Bandor and Ward across the, uh, the back line. Young Fran sitting behind Blanco and Manos in midfield. Ireland on the right, Sindrick on the left and Jajor will lead the attacking line. And on the bench is Mitchell Evans, uh, mainly because of a, a slight hand injury. Mm. Um, Golan, Barna, Krilja, Amiko, and Jeffrey. So that's the uh, the starting team for uh, today. Let's go and chat to the boys. Yeah. Okay, so I think I'd prefer to be impressed today. I think we need them to go out and put on a pretty good show. I think the um, the media have us down for 13th position, so they're not expecting great things from us, but I think the board want us to be mid-table, I think, don't they? So They do. So, okay. early days. Let's just go and see how they react. Right. So. Well, we're about to find out. And we are showing matches on extended highlights with no sound. Yeah. Yes. So, St George are in the red. The red and white, the um, typical colours of teams from that region. Yeah, it looks like an old Arsenal strip from the 1970s. It does. It does. Anyway, we'll uh, be interesting to see how the boys shape up in their first uh, game, since it's a, it's away from home. Well, yeah, I mean, it's difficult to gauge. I mean, as I said, we had a pretty good close season, but we, uh, we couldn't... Um, we were competitive against teams in our group, but we, we've got a corner. We have, and Jay Joy. Oh, that was Pintor, glancing header. Interesting that Jay Joy was taking the corner. He was indeed. Yeah. I adjusted some of the um, set piece takers before the game. Yeah. I um, wonder how quick he is because he's got good finishing stats. <laughs> we need he does, yes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I don't we know. I can't remember how tall he is. <laughs> yeah. But anyway, at least we got uh, the glancing header almost on target. Yeah, well, it's uh, yeah, relatively early days, and um, we're we're holding our own at the moment, which is which is pretty good news. Twelve and a half minutes, but now we've got a free kick. And young Franz pumping it in. Oh, that was a shot, maybe blocked, hmm. maybe blocked. That's been cleared up field, but uh, we'll bring it back through Mr. Tanner. I'm expecting. Tanner. Big things from people like Jajal with a finishing of 15. Mm, and Sindrick and Ireland too. They've uh, they've got good stats. 
Well, Lyland was uh, fantastic in pre-season. Mm. He, uh, he couldn't put a foot wrong. So, uh, and Sindrick didn't do too badly on the left either. Yeah. And we do have Jeffrey sitting on the bench, another striker, who is probably a bit, a bit unlucky to miss out on a starting position today. He got a bump, didn't he, during the training during no, the week? No, that was the uh, the goalkeeper. Oh. But um, it was a tough call between him and uh, J-Jaw, and J-Jaw just got the nod. Ooh. But anyway, interesting ball, dangerous ball. Ooh. Well, well blocked by Brown. Made himself big. He did, the stand-in keeper. You never know, he might make the position his own. Yeah. He's already man of the match so far, which is always a worrying sign. But uh, if this is St George Stadium, it's an interesting, uh, interesting stadium. Well, we've actually been there. Yeah, this is um, Jubilee. Yeah, doesn't quite look like that, but there's a good header. It was um, young France taking once again a, a free kick. Not too many have turned up to watch the game. Maybe the uh, the Dragons are are playing away, or on they might have the TV match. Well, uh, it's a bit of a bit of a hike from um, Blacktown. Yeah. Well, the home team hasn't turned up either. <laughs> <laughs> well, there's another St George side, so maybe they've got most of the support. Yeah, it could be. So um, St George FC are another team in our league that will be playing in a, a few weeks' time. Yeah, so we've got a got a couple of trips to Jubilee Oval by the look of it. I think they ground share too. Which is oh, they would. Yeah, they would, which is yes. quite interesting. But anyway, at least after 20-odd minutes, um, we haven't conceded and... Um, most of the players are playing well enough. Yeah, fitness is uh, fitness is quite quite good. Interesting to see how Ben Franks goes after his promotion from the under eighteen team. Yeah, he's only sixteen, so we've it's a big gamble to put him in the first team. JJ on the ball. Now here comes Mr. Ireland. He can finish. Oh, that's a good save. It was a good save. He probably should have done a little bit better in that position, Ireland. Well, it's a good layoff by J. Jaw. So, um, yeah, Ireland came in from the wing. That's been uh, well defended. Tanner with the scraps. He can have a crack if he wants to, and he does. Blocked. Manos. Manos. Oh, that was just over the bar. That was pretty close. Yeah, Manos up from uh, central midfield. And of course, he's in the uh, the starting eleven today, all because um, one of the players, and I should remember his name, but I can't, is too tired. Oh, yeah. Remember, yes. after playing um, a, uh, a game for the under twenty ones, he didn't recover well enough. Yeah, he must have watched a movie or something like that, and he's woke up tired, poor pet. So this yeah. is Cindric. He was playing quite infield there for a winger. Quality delivery. We've got what a bad looking cross. Oh, gee, that was an interesting finish by Manos. Yeah, because we had Ireland who had come in on the far post. I thought he might have been aiming far post, but um, no. Oh, 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 free header! Come on, free header. Should have found the back of the net. I think we'll call out some encouragement. Yeah, Pintar came up from the back, which is what we want them to to do and aim for the far post. But gosh, free header! Mm, Ballooned over the bar. Should have scored there, but um, we're doing most of the attacking, which is encouraging. Manos, Sindrick, header oh, over the bar again. Yeah. You seem to have a mile of space on that far post to aim for, but we're, we're certainly oh, we're dominating to a certain extent possession, but certainly dominating in the uh, the shots. The shots, we just need to get a little couple more on target. Well, certainly the midfielders and uh, our two wide players are performing very well. Tanner. Can we get it across? Because we've got a number of shirts in the middle. Ooh, it wasn't the best of passes there. Poor ball in there. Mr. Tanner's caught out of position. So I hope and just as well Pintar was back. Blank That's ball. a good ball through to Jajor. Oh, well, once again, he probably should have... I thought he was offside. I think he was, yes. I think he might have been. But he, uh, he probably up, should have done better than hitting the keeper. Hmm, coming up to half time, so we're holding our own against higher fancied opposition, so we'd have to be happy with that. Oh, well, look, look, look at that uh, 10 shots to four, more possession, five corners to three, uh, better um, average rating, so I think they've done pretty yeah. well in the opening 45 minutes. So let's go and chat to the boys. 
Okay, so we'll be assertive. We'll do the finger pointing. And what was the one we liked? Third from the bottom, uh, yeah, I think. Yeah, that was a very good first half. Keep it up. Okay, and I think it was a good opening 45 minutes. And they're all awake too, which is even better. So we just need to get that goal. Well, St George haven't really, uh, apart from one opportunity, they really haven't done much. No, our so, keeper, keeper was, was big and he, he made a good save. But let's not count our chickens before they hatch. No, early days. Early days, but Bander on the ball. Just keep your eye on Jaydor, rating 6.6. Yeah, a bit disappointing when yeah. you consider our keepers playing so well. Yes, well, he did um, he, he did have maybe one or two opportunities in the first half, but uh, that's not a bad ball. Looks like our left back got caught out there. So maybe they've had a bit of a rocket at uh, half time from their uh, manager. Mm. Oh, good save by Brown. Gosh, I thought that was nearly an own goal. The, the St George striker must have... Uh, must have beaten our central defender to it. They often do. Yes. <laughs> yes, our central defenders are not known for their pace. <laughs> they... <laughs> well, I thought they'd be known for their um, heading ability. Yeah. But, um... Well, that's why we've got them there. But yeah, they're not they're not terribly quick. So as long as they don't have to move t terribly far or terribly fast, I think we should be all right. Yeah, a bit of encouragement. Yeah, encouragement just for the second time, see how they react. Um, J. Jules, oh, he had picked up a little bit, but um, yeah, St. George have come out and improved their mm, their shot ratio to ours. We've only had a couple of shots this half. Well, maybe in the next few minutes, I reckon it might be time for um, some fresh legs. 65 yeah. minutes in, what do you reckon? Yeah, a couple of... Um, oh, Francis has been injured. He has indeed. That's why it's suddenly come up. Okay, no, the youngster sure. is injured, so we have to... Okay, who do you want to be a defensive midfielder? Um, I think um, Mr Manos could play there. Um, Mr Blanco can't. Maybe maybe we bring on... You've got Krilja. Maybe we really bring can't. on Krilja and we just play a f flat three midfield. Okay, flat... Mr. Krilja, okay. And push him up into the middle. Oops. Yep. That's it. There we go. All right, so um, central midfielder, maybe support. Yeah. Oops, sorry. Let's defend. Let's go support, Letty. Yep. Okay. It was a bit of a blow to the uh, the youngster because he wasn't playing um, too badly at all. Yeah, it'd be interesting to see what <clears throat> um, what type of injury he's got. And I'm just saying that we got through the pre-season without any long-term injuries, so looks like there's a potential to be FM'd after 60-odd minutes. Well, the icon was red, so yeah. it might be a bit of a bad one, but um, we'll find out after the game. He's a young'un, so hopefully mm. he can... Uh, Good cross, another, well, yeah, weak header. Yeah, I think that was going out anyway. But um, what we might do, 70 minutes, let's uh, maybe give Mr. Jeffries an opportunity up front. Yeah, Jeffrey to come on. I think for Mr. Rest. J. Jewel. And I think um, Mr. Jeffrey will, yeah. Advanced. Advanced, yeah, I'll leave him at advanced. Yeah. I think he's got a bit of pace on him. He's got a bit of pace. And uh, we'll demand a little bit more from the boys. Because I think they've had the better mm. better of the game. Just hope I haven't spoken too soon. Yeah, well, St George have they've pushed their midfielders up, so they're, they're going for a win. Well, they're doing some patient passing at the moment, so uh, just got to be a little bit careful. Here comes the shot. Oh, oh good, good save by Brown again. Brown's pulled out a couple of world-class saves in this game. Well, he might keep uh, that spot for our second match. Mm. That's a good header by Bandor. He got in first. All right. So coming up to 60-odd minutes, anyone bottoming out? Well, we're nearly 80 minutes. Ah, oh, sorry, 80 minutes. Okay, uh, maybe one final substitution. We do have some tired people out there. Um, 
defence. Mr Todorovsky may be coming in for somebody centre. The two centre-backs have actually played well. They have. They have. They're both probably a little bit tired. Um, Do you want to bring Golan on for... On the left? For Tanner, maybe, or... We'll bring Golan on. Mm. How about... How about we bring on... Um, the uh, right Barna. back, Barna, Barna. Yeah, for um, Bandor. Mr. Uh, Mr. Ward, Ward yeah. since he was looking maybe the tightest. Okay, so maybe with about 10 minutes to go, is somebody going to break the deadlock? No, well, it's certainly been a lot quieter in the second half, which was a little bit disappointing. It doesn't seem to be many highlights that have come our way. No, I think St George have picked up in the uh, second half. Apart from one shot that flashed over the bar and maybe a header. Uh, the controlling possession will. Ah, well, there you go. <laughs> Put the mockers on them. Yeah, good. And Cindric just sort of roosts it upfield to no one in particular. Well, we've got to get possession somehow and. Uh, Quality possession. Oh, nobody challenged him for that ball. That was a bit disappointing, but they've given it, given it away cheaply again. Hmm. Hey, Cindric, can Play. he do another? Hey, okay, Jeffrey's got fresh legs. He could be in here. There it is. Oh, there it is, yes. Well, there you go. First Inspired. goal of the season. Inspired substitution. Good finish. Yeah. I've got a feeling he's got pace, this fellow. I think he's got pace of about 13. Yeah. Well, Cindric's ball was a lot better, too, than the last time he just put it up out wide. But, yeah, you're right. I mean, Jeffrey did, uh, did run onto the ball. Keeper probably should have done maybe better to stuck his paws out. That's right. But that's not our problem. But okay, we might be uh, in line for an opening day win away from home, which would be really good. Well, considering the, the pre-season pundits haven't put too much money on us. No, 150 to 1 to win, I think, was uh, the odds for us. And George were 50 to 1. And Jeffrey all buys lonesome. Anyway, five minutes of added time. Gosh. So there's uh, still plenty of time left for St George to get a goal back. And we, we do have the match plan where we are wasting time, so hopefully that's come into effect. Hopefully. But anyway, uh, with a bit of luck, we might get a second. It's not a bad ball. Ooh. In fact, a very, very good ball for Gomez. Oh, oh, it's the crossbar. Oh, oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> bit, of, bit of confidence there um, with the keeper. Yeah, back pass to the keeper there, and he's still coming down from the cross from the shot. So they're uh, not giving up yet. No, they're pouring forward, and they're shot on. Oh, oh what? Another block. <laughs> the keeper trying to anticipate. That's a good header by Krilja. At least he... Uh, We've weathered the storm. Again. Yeah. Oh, God. Got the ball away from our penalty area, but uh, they're knocking on the door. Well, that's a good tackle by Krilja again. Yeah. Oh, that was a decent tackle too. So... Um, we don't appear to be wasting time. I mean, we haven't really had the possession to, to do it. Gomez, oh, he must have been offside. Well, as you can see, it hasn't yeah. kicked in. We're in the 90th minute. Yeah. So we'll do it manually, but um, we'll have to have a look at that instruction. Yeah. <laughs> it didn't work <laughs> for some yeah. reason. Uh, 30 seconds to go. Well, all they've got to oh, do is gosh. hold possession. That's all they've got to do. Yeah. To, and to my way of thinking, that, that's one of the criticisms of FM, that they don't wind the the clock down like you'd see them in a in a real game well Jeffries is through again he might make it two. Oh no he oh. brought rain instead that was a good save I think by the keeper maybe that's the idea of wasting time we just kick it out of the stadium <laughs> well, what's one way yeah. to waste time I guess oh it must have been a save it was the, yes the corner. yeah oh, okay oh, I'll take it back Jeffrey so that's well defended but I think that's going to be it and it is it is Okay, so three points to the good guys. Indeed. Um, 
And for some reason we um, we don't get it. Oh, we do a crowd of five hundred and seventeen, and we actually had three hundred and ten supporters. Okay, bit of a surprise. We'll travel down the Princess Highway to Jubilee Stadium. So absolutely, and I think overall we did uh, we did enjoy uh, not enjoy we, we we did enjoy, but I think we deserved that victory. I think we were the better side certainly in the opening forty five minutes. Yeah, they certainly came at us in the first fifteen minutes of the second half, but we weathered that storm. And then we weathered the storm in the final, the final five or ten minutes too. But it was a it was a good goal by Jeffrey. It was indeed. So let's go and chat to the boys. Yeah. So I think we'll all give them a cuddle with outstretched arms. And yeah, very well done. Okay. Too easy. Okay. So interesting to see what France's uh, injury is. It will be so. Manly United, BWE, BWE, bon Bonnie Rig White Eagles. Eagles. They were one of the favourites. SD Raiders, St George FC, Bankstown City, and uh, the Blacktown Spartans all picking up three points on the opening day of the season. Yeah, good news. Good news. So we'll go and check out. Uh, go and do a little bit of admin. We will indeed. Okay, so Mr. France's injury isn't as bad as what we what we thought, so he's only going to be out for a, for a couple of days, two or three days. So we're happy enough with that outcome. Yes, and uh, Jeffrey scores on uh, debut for the Blacktown Spartans, so he was certainly uh, a very good addition coming off uh, off the bench. So let's take a look at the um, upcoming schedule of games. Um, the next game's at home against uh, Dulwich Hill. The board are not interested in the Waratah Cup at all. So let's mm. come back for maybe a clash with Manly United, a home game. Yeah, they're ranked ranked pretty highly, so that'll be a be a tough uh, tough outing for the boys. Yeah, I think they're tipped um, you know, by the bookmakers to come maybe first or second or somewhere around about there. So that'll be um, that'll be our third uh, third video, the uh, the Manly United clash. I think that should be pretty good. So that's it for episode number two. Hope you have uh, enjoyed today's episode. If you have, please give us a thumbs up and if you'd like to make a comment, please do. Until next time, I'm Barry Foster saying it's goodbye from me. And it's goodbye from him. We'll see you later.